What's going on? Now we're going to do a uh, video on how to clean the Sega. If you're familiar with the AK-47, it's basically the same. You push this tap down and top cover comes off. That's the first step. And You take this spring right here, there's a groove right there. You pull it back and out. Now there's your recoil spring. Take your bolt, turn it back and up and out. And what you do right here twist and pull out. So now we got these parts and that basically that's all you do. You just kind of clean right in there. As you can tell it's super dirty. So what you do, what I'd like to do is clean out the uh, the uh, piston tube which is on the top but always take your gas regulator off which what you do it's like a little pin. I don't know if you could see that. Right there. You detent that. Then keep unscrewing. I got the V plug on this, so it's not the standard um, stock gas regulator, but you take that off. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, also, there is a there is a puck in there too, I think you see that. You have a hard time actually getting this out. Like I do. Well, sometimes it pops out easily, but what you do to get it out is actually just put your piston on and just kinda slam it forward like that and it'll just pop right out. That's another way to do that. So basically this is the puck that basically goes back in there and you have to clean that. So basically in this video, if you're learning how to clean your Sega, just do everything I did in reverse. So you clean this. What I like to do is use super lubricant just for, you know, bolts and stuff, but this works really well. As you spray it on there, kind of let it soak. So basically you just take the part and just let that set. Ooh, a little problem with the nozzle. Take that, take your recoil spring, kind of spray it down. And the top cover too, spray in there. Also the plug. And you let it kind of sit so it helps it soak in and get everything out, all the carbon buildup. And the same thing in the receiver, just kind of spray it in there. Put some in the hole, in the, or piston hole. Then, you know, some down the barrel. Then just kind of let that sit. Then after it's done, you kind of just take a you know wire brush and stuff and clean it up. Basically, just take a wire brush, clean everything off to get all the little particulates out. And uh, oh, and don't forget the piston too. And all that crap. You can use. Uh, the nitro gun solvent for cleaning, but this stuff doesn't, you know, doesn't have the risk of removing the bluing off your stuff, so you don't have to worry with this stuff. But this stuff is kind of iffy. I've seen it sometimes take off the bluing if you've got to be careful with this stuff. But this stuff's much safer. You know, it's got a little oil, helps lubricate it, but also clean it. What I like to use for oil is the, you know, outers is the brand. Use this stuff. Uh, this stuff is like what two bucks a bottle and it lasts a long time i oil a lot of guns with this so i use that for oil just kind of you, know, you unscrew it you got a nozzle just kind of dip it in the spots that are moving parts and any metal parts that are touching so uh yeah i mean that's basically it just do reverse everything again and put it back together and and it'll work for you so alrighty, you have a good one and that's how you <laughs> That's how you clean a Sega.